friends one thing we all need to know about our human episode is that it evolves around only three venues namely heaven earth and the oceans oceans yes because that's where the devil and his companions were cast down by god and that's where they are even today even though hell is reserved for devil's angels they are not there because the devil has got an assignment to do he has to prove himself to god and his angels that he is as good as god as he claimed by establishing a kingdom like heaven upon planet earth all through human history he has made several attempts and failed and he is still trying but too bad for him his time is running out now let's see if there is any truth to what i just said about 500 years after the flood of noah when god confused the human language at the tower of babel people got scattered and settled in different parts of the earth what you are seeing here are the many people groups born of that one incident in their new settlements it was these fallen entities from the devil's abyss which taught languages to them they also taught every aspect of civilization to humans and thus started playing gods upon the earth for example i have mentioned many times about this character called venus that came out of the persian sea that taught language and culture to the sumerians historian barosus wrote about him in the 4th century bc in india it was agastya who taught language to the people and there were many other agents of lucifer who taught medicine yoga science etc to the people of india allah is one similar entity that taught arabic language to the people of arabia i also came across al qutba who taught language to the people of northern arabia now these are the doors of the library of congress of the united states of america here among many who taught languages we see nabu who taught the babylonian language notice the famous babylonian king nebopolisar and his son nebuchadnezzar both have nabu in their names then we know hermes who taught the language to the greeks it's all well and good for these creatures to come out of the waters and teach things to people but lucifer needs human kings to rule the people his way this he achieved by sending beautiful water nymphs from his abyss to the ancient kings to influence their minds the courtship of semiramis with king nimrod was one such example and there were many such characters both male and female that interacted with the persians as well in the post flood days thanks to islam which is notorious for wiping out any true history to write their own fables on top of them we have no details of them today in india in the early days of reemergence of civilization along the shores of ganges hastinapur was a famous city state and king shantanu was its ruler there too a water nymph called ganga from lucifer's realm appeared to king shantanu and he married her her son bishma was groomed in the underwater city of lucifer till he became of age so that he can shape the indian society the way lucifer wanted the famous epic vishnu purana affirms the presence of this underwater kingdom which it calls patala lok in it sage narada describes patala as more beautiful than god's heaven itself according to him patala is filled with splendid jewels 
beautiful groves and lakes and lovely demon maiden. Sweet fragrance is in the air and is fused with sweet music. Finding it hard to believe, hear this one out. It happened near the Santa Catalina Island off the coast of Los Angeles. Few people at sea accidentally came across many UFOs out of the water and taking off into the sky. They were scared. One of them called the authorities. Here's the audio recording of the call. Officer Sheriff, did anyone report anything strange tonight? Uh, maybe other than one specific, uh, strange, uh, white. White? Yes. What exactly uh, happened to you? I'm ashamed to tell you because I think you're going to think you're crazy. We saw what we thought was a bright light up in the sky. Okay. We could hear it wasn't a helicopter. I'm telling you, I have never been more frightened in my life. Now, even today, the devil takes men, women, boys, girls, and little children to his sea city. There, he initiates and trains them to target and destroy anything godly in our planet in order to expand his kingdom. It is all done under the water and it is very real. Please watch my video, The City Under the Sea. It is a true account of a person who spent 12 years in Lucifer's underwater realm. Now, Lucifer and his demons have very high technology. Having been in heaven, they know a lot of things that we humans do not know. Governments are lining up to have a bit of the technology. It is said that President D. Eisenhower of America had a pact with these so-called aliens who live in our own planet. As a matter of fact, Lucifer the Devil had been behind every major kingdom such as Sumerian, Assyrian, Egyptian, Persian, Indian, Grecian, Roman and so on. He even tried to offer them to Jesus in order to tempt him. According to the Bible, soon he will try his final kingdom, the new world order, and fail. Bible prophecies state that this kingdom would last only for seven years. Once his time is up, God's angels will pour out the vials of God's wrath upon the oceans and the devil himself will meet his end. The Bible states the following about that event. In that day the Lord will punish Leviathan, the fleeing serpent, with his fierce and great and mighty sword, even Leviathan, the twisted serpent, and he will kill the dragon who lives in the sea. Leviathan, the fleeing serpent, Twisted serpent and dragon are all names used to describe the devil. When everything is over, God creates a new heaven and a new earth where, according to the Bible, will be no more sea because the devil also will be no more. Meanwhile, in conclusion, this is what I would like to say. This place under the sea is real. So are the evil designs of its master to drag your soul to hell. Worship the Creator. He is the one who sent Jesus to save your soul. Accept Him as your personal Savior. It will serve you well. God bless you.